Welcome back everyone to another delicious recipe. Today it is slow cooked sloppy joe casserole in the crock pot. We're gonna start off by making a delicious hash brown crust on the bottom and that's gonna absorb the delicious flavors of that sloppy joe. Y'all ready? Come on down. Let's put this one together. We're gonna start in a large bowl. We're gonna be using some hash browns. 32 ounces. Now I find these hash browns in the refrigerator section of my store, which is great because they're, they're thawed, not frozen. If you find hash browns in your freezer section of your store, you just want to make sure you thaw them out before you use them. So these are 20 ounces each, so I'll be using one and a half bags of these. good right there and we'll save the rest for like a breakfast let's flavor up our shredded potatoes we're going to put in one egg this will hold as the binder i keep it all together we've got one can of cheddar cheese soup like this can is 10.5 ounces all right let's add that Give it some nice cheesy flavor. A little grain of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. There's a lot of potatoes in there, so we want to make sure they're flavored. There we go. I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're just going to go right across the top. And we've got some onion powder right across the top. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Just a little bit. Just right across the top. That's it. Let's go ahead and mix this together. Break that egg up. Mmm. If your people are like my people, they're going to come for this recipe. Oh, nothing like taking sloppy joes and turning it into a casserole, slow cooked all day, and giving it this delicious crust on the bottom. All right, once you get that all mixed together, we're going to spray the inside of our crock pot. Now you can use a five or a six quart crock pot for this recipe. I like to use the oval one because it's got more base on the bottom, which will give that a thinner layer and not be so thick. So spray it with some nonstick cooking spray in the bottom of your crock pot. Let's go ahead and take that potato mixture and we're gonna place it right into the bottom of our crock pot. Smells good. All right, we're just gonna evenly distribute it around the bottom of the crock pot, nice and even. So we're gonna set aside our potato mixture in the crock pot and then we're gonna start making that sloppy joe mixture. So in a large skillet over medium high heat, I'm going to add about one and a half pounds of ground beef. Let me get my meat chopper. We're going to break this all up. And then we're going to start chopping up some onion and peppers to put in here. Now I've got some sweet peppers here. They come in different colors like the red, orange, and yellow. Usually in a multi-pack you can find them. I'm just going to cut off the tops and then chop these up. You can add these or you can add like a green bell pepper if you want to do that. Whatever you have on hand. So I'm just going to chop these up. Now 
It adds a nice color to the dish. While you're chopping, make sure you're browning up the ground beef. All right, I'm a big fan of Sloppy Joes any way you can make them. <laughs> My mom would make me sloppy joes for my birthday every year when I was young. She would make a big, big batch in the crock pot. All right, so we get these chopped up. We'll go ahead and add these to the ground beef. Start softening these down. We're gonna take a yellow onion. I'm just gonna do half of it. Cut through the root. Get these moving along in the meat here. Softening down. All right, just peel off that outer layer. I'm just going to follow the lines. Cut these into strips. Then we'll just turn it around, run our knife through it, make our dices, and then we'll go ahead and add this to the ground beef and the peppers. That's good. All right. All right, I'm going to finish browning up the ground beef and softening down the peppers and the onions. I'm going to bring you back. The ground beef is nice and browned up. We've softened down the peppers and the onions somewhat. And I did drain out any excess grease from here because you don't want all that liquid in there on top of what we're going to put in. Which will be one can of Manwich Original Sloppy Joe Sauce. This can is 15 ounces, so it's got all of the seasonings that you're going to need in here. We're going to add this to the ground beef mixture, make it saucy. All right, we're going to mix this together. All right, once we get it all combined, you just want to turn off the heat. There we go. Okay, we're going to take our meat mixture and we're going to pour it all over the hash brown casserole in the bottom of our crock pot. Nice and evenly. Smooth it out. All right, I'm just going to clean off the edge here. We're going to place the lid on and then we're going to cook this for four hours on low. Now, this casserole suits very well when you cook it on low, but you can also cook it on high if you want it a little bit faster and just cut that time in half. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to show you how we're going to top this off and give it a try for you. 15 minutes before the four hours is up, we're going to go ahead and take eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. And we're going to put it right on top. Make a nice layer. Now I'm going to place the lid on. We're going to cook it an additional 15 minutes until that cheese is nice and melted. All right, my cheese has melted. Let's finish off the top of the casserole here with some fresh parsley. Give it a nice little color. All right, what do y'all think? All right, we're gonna dig in. Go all the way down to the bottom where those potatoes are, and then come up. Look at that. All that Sloppy Joe flavors went right to those potatoes. We finished it off with some cheese. Let me get a fork. Give this a try for ya. Mm. 
Here's my bite. Mmm. That's very delicious. You know, it takes me back to when I used to eat Sloppy Joes all the time for my birthday. I still make it to this day. I just like to do it in different ways to give you all different varieties of how to make Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joe casserole in your crock pot, slow cooked for four hours. Top it with some cheese. There you go. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, yeah, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.